What's going on guys? Welcome to your 86th draft tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw some more shapes including like ovals and 3D rectangles. But, you know, when I say 3D, wait till you see this. You are not going to be impressed at all. It, uh, it's pretty pathetic. But, you know, it... They had a thing called 3D Rectangle, so I had to figure out how to draw it, so... Um, let's go ahead and... You know, let's go ahead and get started. Um, public... And make sure you extend J panel, not J frame. Uh, I think we might have done that last time, but... Go ahead and get your public void... Paint... Component again, just like that, and for a parameter... Graphics G and now with our paint component we can actually paint things on the screen So let's go ahead and well, I guess we first need to call the super dot paint Component just like that and G parameter already filled in for us to call the um, super classes paint component method and next let's go ahead and set background color might as well make it white i'm gonna make mine white you can make yours whatever you want set background and i'm gonna put color dot white white just like that taco sean corner and now let's go ahead and the first thing i guess i can teach you guys how to do is draw a basic line on the screen so g dot set color just like that and we'll set it to something like blue um color dot i mean it's one of my favorite colors so blue and white in case you were wondering and now let's go ahead and put g dot draw line and see what we got for parameters we got x y and x y now you know that in order to draw a line you need two points on the screen this first line this x and y is going to be your coordinates for the first point this x and y is going to be coordinates for your second point and java will automatically draw a line from point a to point b so let's go ahead and put 1025 for the first point which should be somewhere 10 over 25 down and for our second point, let's put like 245. So it's going to be a downhill line. Looks something like this. And now we got a line on our screen. So what else can we draw? Um, G dot set color. We'll set this one to color dot red. Because, you know, got to mix it up a little bit. And now let's go ahead and put draw, or excuse me, g dot draw rect. And what this means is, unlike last time when we drew a solid rectangle using fill rect, this draws um, an empty rectangle. And it takes the same parameters as before. Let's go ahead and put 10 over, uh, 55 down. It will be a hundred wide and it will be 30 pixels tall and now let's go ahead and I'm going to teach you guys how to make ovals now now and well let's go ahead and do this first set color uh, what color you want to make it guys green you said all right color dot green so we're gonna have a green oval G dot We'll make this one solid. Fill, oval, and anytime you have fill and draw, they're pretty much interchangeable. Depending on personal preference. Now, this fill oval parameters, it takes the exact same parameters as the rectangle. But what it's going to automatically do is round your corners for you. So, if we want to make an oval that's the same size as this, Let's go ahead and move it down a little bit. So we'll do 10. Uh, let's see, 50, 85. So we'll put it in 95. That should give us 10 pixels padding. 
and we'll make it 100 wide by 30 tall. Now this is going to be the same size as this rectangle right here. But instead of a rectangle, it's going to be rounded off at the corners, a.k.a. an oval. So now we got a line, a rectangle, and an over. And an oval. Not an ovary. I apologize. So, the last thing I'm going to teach you guys is something called a 3D rectangle. And what this does is it's pretty much a rectangle that's filled in. But it has a little um, bevel on one of the sides to give it a slight appearance that it's like pushed out a little bit. So put G dot set color and what do you want to change the color to? Let's pick a good one. Color dot. Uh, let's see. That was kind of good one. Orange. Bam. That's what I'm looking for. Orange. And now let's go ahead and put G dot fill bam 3D rectangle just like this. Now our parameters, this is a little too easy. Let's put it at 10 over 160 down. And that's positioning. The width can be 100 just like everything else. The height, make this one a little bigger, 50. Now what this raised means since it's a 3D rectangle, it has the option of being raised pretty much means do you want to give it 3D look or not? And of course we do, true, because 3D is awesome. You can also put false to give it not a 3D look, but we want this baby looking 3D. And you guys are about to be disappointed because this uh, doesn't give you nearly as much 3D as you like, but if you... Go ahead and run this program. I already filled out on, on parameters. Um, if you guys need to do this, just go ahead and pause. But I did this about 80 times before, so you guys should know how to do that. Um, go ahead and... As you can see, we drew a line from point A to point B. We also figured out how to draw a rectangle. Let me go ahead and get my good code up here. Uh, our rectangle using draw rectangle instead of fill rectangle again fill rectangle would fill this all in with a red we also filled an oval in using green using the same parameters as our rectangle and last but not least let's scroll down here we also made this 3d um, rectangle using fill 3d rec now again, I don't even know if you guys can tell on this tutorial because YouTube probably takes some of the quality away. But there's a little line right here along the edge. And it's a little darker than normal. And this is a little lighter than normal on this edge. And what this does is give you guys the 3D effect. Now again, it's not like 3D like you're making it. 3D button at 3D's max or something. It's just a little subtle button like you'd see on a uh, like a very old web page. But you know, it's a it's subtle, but it's there. So um, that's how you make 3D. And I'm moving my fingers like I'm quoting right now. But that's how you do 3D rectangles, and that's what it means basically. So, we learned how to draw a bunch of new stuff on the screen. Um, lines, rectangles, overs, and 3D rectangles. It was awesome. And, uh, so, you know, it's been fun. But, that's all the time I have for this tutorial. So, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.